Google Workspace and Zoho Workspace are two of the most popular all-in-one business suites for small businesses. Both ecosystems offer everything that you need to set up, launch, and run your team and business. So today, my focus is to help you identify the best business suite for your small business. We'll look at pricing, inclusive apps, AI functions, ease of use, and we'll break down the key differences between both options. All right, so without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and dive into this comparison between Google Workspace and Zoho Workspace to see which platform is best for your small business. Now before we dive in, you may have noticed I said Zoho Workspace instead of the proper term that Zoho uses, which is Workplace. In my opinion, Zoho, similar to Google, is a workspace. However, in this comparison guide, I'll use Workplace for Zoho's ecosystem name. Now let's jump into pricing between Google Workspace and Zoho Workplace to begin with. And because we want to determine the best option for small businesses, we'll focus on the standard tier pricing. Let's say that you have a team of 10 employees that require their own custom email and access to business and collaboration tools. One of these platforms is 227.8% more expensive than the other platform per year, which is significant when deciding between Zoho or Google for your team's business suite. Let's take a closer look. A team of 10 people using Google Workspace will cost your small business 1,176 USD per year. However, with Zoho Workplace, this will cost your team only $360. That's a huge price saving for a small business. This is in reference to both standard plans, which is ideal for most small businesses. Okay, so Zoho Workplace is significantly more affordable over Google Workspace. However, it's time to take a look at the inclusive apps between each ecosystem and how they compare in terms of the value they offer small businesses. Let's look at the similar apps and tools that both business suites offer. Both platforms offer professional business emails, integrated calendars, cloud-based storage, task management, collaborative documents, a dynamic spreadsheet app, a slideshow app, video and audio meeting tools, and a directory. In saying that, the document and spreadsheet apps in Google Workspace, Google Sheets, and Google Docs is a lot more feature-packed and integrated with powerful AI functions and built-in tools like a document e-signature function. Key differences in value that you get between Zoho and Google is the AI functionality. Both platforms offer AI integrated across apps and tools. Google has the world-leading Gemini AI, and Zoho has Zia AI, a proprietary in-house large language model. Gemini inside Google Workspace is far more superior than Zoho Zia, with powerful generative capabilities like generating video content with VO3, leveraging Gemini as a coding developer assistant, as well as image editing and image generation with the impressive Nano Banana. Gemini inside Google Workspace is absolutely crushing the AI playing field for small businesses. Not only is the AI integrated across your entire Google Apps, you also have dedicated Gemini tools, like the Gemini app, as well as Notebook LM, which gives you the ability to engage in complex, specific source-based research. Again, all of these AI tools are incredibly beneficial to small businesses that take advantage of this AI. If you're interested in learning more about all of Google Workspace AI tools and capabilities, I will add a dedicated guide down below for you to check out. This covers everything that you can do with AI inside of Google Workspace. Now, although Zia AI is not as extensive as Google's Gemini, it is powerful in terms of data analysis and task execution within tools like Zoho's CRM. For example, you can understand customers' intent, gain sales insights, predict closed durations, and execute communication workflows to automate communication and drive sales. So if you're after strictly business-focused AI capabilities, like the CRM example I shared above, Zoho AI might be better for your small business over Google's overwhelming AI functions found inside Google Workspace. Now let's circle back to the apps and tools. Remember both Google Workspace and Zoho Workplace are collaborative and productivity solutions for business. However, Zoho does not not just offer Zoho Workplace, but also Zoho One, which is another business ecosystem that focuses on businesses' operating systems, offering over 40 apps and tools like a CRM, bookkeeping, inventory, 
email marketing, project management, customer service, and many more operational solutions. This is more expensive and extensive than both Zoho Workplace and Google Workspace, but again services a different business purpose. Now, although Zoho One and Zoho Workplace are separate platforms with different apps, they are still designed to work well together. This is a huge advantage to setting up your entire business with Zoho. Now, if you're interested in learning more about these standalone Zoho business apps, I'll link dedicated tutorials down below in the description for you to check out. Now, these Zoho business solutions like the CRM or bookkeeping inside Zoho One can also be accessed as standalone tools with their own individual pricing. Also, many of these separate Zoho business tools have a very generous free plan that you can get started with and even run your small business without needing to upgrade. Google Workspace or Google in general does not offer key business operation apps and tools like a CRM or bookkeeping platform. However, in saying that, I did build a CRM and bookkeeping toolkit for small businesses called Sheetify CRM that leverages Google Sheets and other Google Apps. If you're interested in these dedicated business solutions I built for small businesses that use Google, I'll link additional information down below in the description for you to learn more. However, again, Google does not offer their own dedicated business operational apps like Zoho has to offer. Okay, let's now break down which business suite is best for your small business. Well, the truth is, this depends. Both options are fantastic for small businesses. However, if you're after an affordable, less fluffy solution for standard day-to-day -day collaboration and team productivity, then Zoho Workplace may be the best option for you. Also, if you're after more business-focused solutions, Zoho offers this too, which means you have all tools you need under one ecosystem that all connect seamlessly together. Google Workspace, on the other hand, is ideal if you enjoy or have had experience with Google products as they are easy to use and scalable. Now for strictly business collaboration and productivity requirements, and if you have the budget, Google Workspace is for sure a more comprehensive and suitable option. Just keep in mind as your business grows and as your Google Workspace user base grows, it can become quite a significant overhead. However, that is everything I wanted to cover in this comprehensive guide. Again, I'll link all video resources I mentioned down below in the description that will dive deeper into the standalone apps and tools that I mentioned for both platforms. And there we have it guys, that is it for this Google Workspace and Zoho Workspace comparison guide. Now, if you're interested in learning more about each of the tools that these platforms have to offer, I've added the dedicated video tutorials down below in the description. All right, so with that covered, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.